I'm here today at Otium in downtown Los Angeles. It's helmed by Chef Tim Hollingsworth, who worked for 13 years at the French Laundry in Napa under Chef Thomas Keller. Now, my question is, a chef of that pedigree, what does he want to do for his own restaurant? OTM is a Latin abstract term for something that you do in your leisure. So it could be eating, drinking wine, even academic endeavors. So I think that really fits with what we want to do with the restaurant as far as eating, socializing. We have the plaza or the park in front of us with 100 year old olive trees. We really want to activate that area. And then the academic side comes from you know educating yourself with the arts at the museums and the architecture that's just in the neighborhood. Here's our first dish. We have hamachi that's been crusted with a little bit of toasted nori, sweet and sour tomatoes, avocado, and uh, a little bit of tokarashi. And what was your inspiration behind this dish? I think it has to do with like, uh, like California sushi. I mean, hamachi, everybody loves hamachi in California. Right. The tomatoes, the avocado, very like California kind of food. It was thinking about a new way of doing um, kind of like what Japanese do with the uh, sushi roll. We basically toasted the nori, we, we ground it up really fine, and then we dip the, the fish in it after we cured it in salt. Um, and then we slice it so you have that kind of toasted nori flavor on the fish. Mm -hmm. I love nori and it adds some umami to the fish. Yeah, Extra definitely. umami and the acid is so great. I'm, as a diner, I love acid in food and I think in general chefs don't cook with enough acid. The avocado adds a little bit of creaminess and it's still light and delicious and very fresh tasting. There's our beef tartare wow. with the lavash, bulgur. So yogurt beautiful. and mint. I like to eat, eat with my hands. Yeah. I like to touch the food and embrace it. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. Mm. Delicious. I love anything raw. I like the acid. It's a little bit nutty. Touch of spice. The the mint really brightens it as well. Yeah, yeah. I think the yogurt kind of lightens delicious. it up, and the mint adds mm -hmm. that like herbaceous like freshness mm -hmm. to it. That's dry aged beef. How yeah. long is it dry aged? It's like forty three days now. And you can see it's like served whole. So I really want people to like cut into it and yeah. it'd be an experience rather than just like somebody experiencing their own course, which Absolutely. is a little bit boring for me nowadays. Mm -hmm. Here's our Thousand Island for our pastrami sandwich. Mm. So what is this? So basically brined and cured mm -hmm. hiramasa and made pastrami out of it. So hiramasa is a, a fish, okay. so much really like a yellowtail. Mm -hmm. uh, we have beets, potatoes, rye bread, croutons, mm -hmm. onions, pickles, tomatoes, mm -hmm. um, and a horseradish uh, mayonnaise. Amazing. Essentially a deconstructed pastrami sandwich. What kind of wood is at the bottom? All of it is charcoal mm -hmm. and then applewood smoke. Okay. Make a good bite. Does that pass the test? That's good. Eat it all. Hmm. What's so crazy is that that entirely tastes like pastrami together in one <laughs> bite. And there's no meat involved at all. No meat, no. And what is that? What did you make that from? Cornish on relish mm -hmm. with, uh, I mean, it's just basically like a deconstructed Thousand Island. Mm -hmm. and here we have Casto Mania Tortellini wow. with matsutake mushrooms. Yeah. These matsutakes are actually from Northern California. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, lots of flavor. Yeah, mm. yeah matsutakes have a lot of depth, so when you add that with like a little bit of a meatiness, I, mm -hmm. I think it finds like, uh, yeah. you know, you get that pine, you get everything. It's like round and warm and very comforting. Here we have Maine lobster with truffled romaine, smoked chicken, and a yam velouté. So pretty, the colors are just stunning. Thank you. So a little protein on protein action here. Yes. Double the protein. Lobster's very moist. <laughs> <laughs> very beautifully cooked. I like the sweetness, the sort of earthiness from the truffles, and then the texture from the romaine comes together as a really nice bite and obviously a beautiful, beautiful plate. When you're coming up with plating a dish, what's your thought process as far as just aesthetically? I try to make it a little bit simpler than I used to. Mm -hmm. Focus on unique details. It looks beautiful, it's aesthetically yeah. beautiful, but you know, it's a very simple plate up. And here's our, uh, our beef, it's been dry aged with a little green salad and uh, za'atar onions. And how long was this dry aged? This one is the same, it's about 43 yeah. days, yeah. Okay. The flavor in the meat's amazing. Thank you. So good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, and everything was really incredible. It was not only beautiful, it was flavorful. I can only say it was delicious. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you. It was Thank fun to so have much. you, man. Yeah. Check out OTM for the first time. Yeah. I'm excited. This has been great. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to see more Masters videos, click here. I'm a New York Maya. You 
style sushi mixed with traditional Edomai style. This is my way. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe.